Wicker, and on behalf of the Bethlehem Academy Middle School and High School Concert Choir, I'd like to welcome you this evening. Before we begin, I ask that you please take off your cell phones and silent stuff. Also, due to the sacred liturgy that we will have starting in a few minutes here, I ask that you refrain from applause until after the final song, which is Christmas Tide, which will be sung by the High School Concert Choir. Thank you for coming this evening. We hope you have a very, very good
beloved in Christ, be it in the sacred season of our care, in delight to prepare ourselves to hear again the message of the angels, in heart and mind to go even unto Bethlehem and see this thing which is come to pass. And with magi adore the child lying in his mother's arms. Let us read in Mark and Holy Scripture the tale of the loving purposes of our God, from the first dawning of light upon the waters of creation to the dawning of the new light, the one who is for us the light of the world. And let us make this chapel dedicated to his pure and lowly mother, glad with our carols of praise. But first, let us pray for the needs of the whole world, for peace and goodwill over all the earth, for unity and amity within the church he came to build, within a nation often torn by discord and divisiveness, within the institutions wherein we work. And let us at this time remember, in his name, the poor and the helpless, the cold, the hungry, and the oppressed, the sick in body and in mind, and them, at, and them that mourn, the lonely and the unloved, the aged and the little children, and all who know not the loving kindness of God. Lastly, let us remember before God all those who rejoice with us, but upon another shore and in a greater light, that multitude which no one can number, whose hope was in the Word made flesh, and with whom we evermore are one. These prayers and praises let us humbly offer to the throne of heaven in the words which Christ himself taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Spoken. A voice says, Cry out. 
And I said, What shall I cry? All people are like grass, and all their faithfulness is like the flowers of the field. The grass withers, and the flowers fall, because the breath of the Lord blows on them. Surely the people are grass, the grass withers, and the flowers fall, but the word of our God endures forever. You who bring good news to Zion, go up on a high mountain. You who bring good news to Jerusalem, lift up your voice with a shout. Lift it up, do not be afraid. Say to the towns of Judah, here is your God. See the sovereign Lord comes with power, and he rules with a mighty arm. See his reward is with him, and his recompense accompanies him. He tends his flock like a shepherd. He gathers the lambs in his arms and carries them close to his heart. He gently leads those who, that have young.
In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. He came to her and said, Greetings, favor. The Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his word and pondered of what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid of me, for you have found favor with God, and now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great. He will be called the Son of the Most High and Lord God. He will give to him the throne of his ancestors, David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and his kingdom will, there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be holy. He will be called the Son of God. And now your relative Elizabeth, in her old age, has also conceived a son. And this is the sixth month for her bearing. For nothing will be impossible with God. Then Mary said to her, Here I am, the servant of the Lord. Let it be according to your word. And the angel departed from her.
Gospel according to Luke. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger because there was no guest room available for them. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger.
make us glad that the yearly remembrance of the birth of thy holy Son, Jesus Christ, grant that as we joyfully receive him for our Redeemer, so we may with sure confidence behold him, who shall come to be our judge, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, world without end. Amen. The Lord be with you. May he who by his incarnation gathered into one all things earthly and heavenly fill you with the sweetness of inward peace and goodwill. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you always.